All right, can you guys see the screen? Yes. Okay. All right, it's gonna be squats or squat jumps, okay? Five seconds, get ready. Three, two, one. All right, let's go, squats or squat jumps. That's it. Good. All right. So Kimberly, when you do your squat jumps, get your arms back first. So get your arms back on the down and get your arms up on the up. I don't know. Oh, That's all right. Just keep doing what you're doing. Three seconds, two, one, time. All right, can you guys see me? Look, watch. When you do squat jumps, make sure that you guys get your arms back and then on the way up. See that? Don't do this, don't do this. Don't do this. All right, do this. Okay. Hey, one thing about this program is that you're gonna get good at these exercises. So today is like a, a test run, right? You're gonna get good at them. And also when you put your 30 seconds in, this is, this is part of me teaching you how to work, okay? You've gotta give me a good solid 30 seconds, like not just your average going out for a run on Saturday morning, right? You, You've got to give me 30 seconds, like a quality 30 seconds, so that these 90 seconds of rest that you have right now give you the time and the energy to give me that work again for the next set. You know what I'm saying? So it's all where you put your investment. Your investment today is in that 30 seconds. You've got to give me a good 30 seconds. That's what really makes high intensity high intensity. So the next exercise, Oh, shoot, I didn't show you. I'm out of order. Strides, all right? Strides look like this. Watch. Just like this. See? Like you're in a Nordic track. See that? All right, three seconds. Two, one. Give me strides. There you go. Good. Come on, a good 30 seconds. Come on. I'm going to give you a 10 second countdown. Get ready. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Time. That was my bad. You know, I do a lot of these classes and. I, I rely on somebody like to let me know that I'm messing up. And this is how you can let me know. You want to see? Go like this. <laughs> if I see one of you doing this, I know that I'm messing up, that I, I'm out of order or, or something like that, right? And I was out of order. I should have had you do strides first and then squats. I just missed it, okay? So next up, lateral shuffles. Lateral shuffles are like a basketball move. You want to sit down low, like, the, like, but not too low, right? But probably lower than you think. And it's going to make your legs sore. It's going to make your butt sore. It's going gonna, it's gonna to be tough, all right? And you don't have to go far. Just make sure you're not on like some loose carpet. If you're on loose carpeting, it's not good, okay? Make sure you're on good, solid ground. The lateral shuffles, remember? You just get down and you move to the left. Move to the right, move to the left, move to the right. Just like that, okay? Just like that. And as long as you guys stay down low, it's gonna work out. In two, three, four weeks from now, you guys will be like, we're gonna be like playing basketball. Here we go, 10 seconds. Get ready. Five, four, three, two, one, go! Nice. Good, Yana. Nice, you bet. Jennifer, you're probably the fastest moving one. <laughs> Good job, Jennifer. Five, four, three, two, one. Good job. <laughs> 
I'll send you guys a link to watch this later on. You can see yourselves and see other people and uh, review what we did in the beginning if you came in late. But everybody is like moving across the screen like this. And I can tell sometimes who's moving a little faster. Jennifer, that time you were, you were just like, <laughs> you were moving. All right, the next up is uh, high knee running or marching, okay? High knee running is always a tiring exercise, but it might not be appropriate for you right now. It's tough on the ankles and it can be tough on the knees. I also do two variations of that. I'll do like a variation where my knees go real high and one where my knees go a little lower. If I go lower, I go faster. If I go higher with my knees, I go a little slower. And if running in place is just not happening for you, that's fine. You're gonna do marching, okay? You guys are doing great. You should feel a little uncomfortable, a little tired, just a little bit. But take this time because as this program advances and goes on, you won't have 90 seconds anymore. You will not have 90. You'll see. But uh, here we go. High knee running or marching in seven, six, five, four, three, two, ready, go. All right, everybody's going off and doing the running. That's cool. Give me a good quality 30, a good one, a good one, a good one. Come on. I'm going to give you that 10-second countdown. I want you to sprint. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Good job. Good job, everybody. You know, most of you or most of the ladies that I've talked to, um, this is their first workout in a long time. And this is actually perfect, okay? And even if you have been working out, most of you haven't been doing the high intensity. So this is a new thing for you. And we're all starting out the same, but we're all going to grow together. And, and no matter where you are, it's going to catch up to you. And this, this, this program will be challenging. Hopefully, it's a little challenging right now to you. It does. Good. All right. Well, if you're feeling gung-ho, try the star jumps. If not, just do jumping jacks. Star jumps are like, like a cheerleader jumping in the air and then landing with the feet underneath of you right? It's like, I think of about like winning the lottery. It's like, you know, it's like, yay! you know what I mean? And uh, for me, this is probably like the second hardest physically challenging exercise in the whole program. If you do it right, give it a shot or just do jumping jacks. Okay. 10 seconds, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, Two, one, go. I see Kimberly's doing the star jumps. Oh, and Yana. <laughs> Isn't that funny? Yeah, you went outside, I see. I'll give you that 10 second countdown. Get ready. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5. Four, three, two, one. Good job. Hey, uh, Kimberly and Yana, how do you feel? Weren't those tiring? Yeah. Huh? Yeah. You know what? Like star jumps are awkward. If you've never seen them or done them before, you know what? I, I have a video that teaches you know, in a little more detail how to do it, um, you know, go back and study it. it. It's a tough one. It's, it's, it's awkward because we're used to doing jumping jacks and we're used to our feet going outwards, not underneath of us. But that exercise, that's a tough one. All right, so the next up is an advanced move called the burpee. Now, if, if we're not doing burpees, we're doing one of the exercises either earlier 
or running in place or jumping jacks. Don't do the burpees unless, I would say unless you've done these before, okay? This is a popular exercise. It's one of the most popular in high intensity interval training. I'll show you again real quick, all right? What you do is you jump and then you plank. Squat, jump, and then plank. Make sure when you plank, you don't arch your back. All right. Five seconds. Ready? Go. We're either run in place. Oh my gosh, everybody's doing it. All right. You guys are a tough crowd. <laughs> awesome. All right. If this is new for you, just do it. Just go slow and do good technique. Five, four, three, two, one, time. <laughs> Notice that the screen is yellow. That's always going to be a significant moment. When the screen turns yellow, it tells us that we're uh, through a round. Now we've got one more round and then we're finished. This workout is about 22, 23 minutes. Actually, it's 24 minutes. But that's counting 90 seconds rest at the end. So I don't really count that typically. So it's close to a 22 minute workout. You guys should feel an effect occurring in your body after three workouts. Usually three workouts and, and you're gonna be walking around noticing, wow, I feel a little tighter. I feel a little like, you know, I feel a little, I don't know, just, you're gonna feel differences. You're gonna feel muscles. You're gonna feel them being a little sore. You're gonna notice your breath. Like when I started this program eight weeks ago, I was coughing a little bit. I had this little cough. I didn't know why I had a cough, but I had a cough because my lungs were being asked to expand and, and increase their capacity. And I just wasn't used to it. <clears throat> All right, we're back to strides. You guys remember strides? So you, it's just like doing a Nordic track. You just kind of just do like this. You guys see? Here we go. Four, three, two, one. All right, let's go. I love, I love strides. I think about like just getting somewhere and getting somewhere fast. You get in, you, you get out what you put in here. You vet. Awesome. I can hardly see you. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. <clears throat> job ladies anybody feeling a little tired out there Woo. all right well we only have about 11 minutes left actually not even that you'll get through it next up we're doing either squats or squat jumps now it's going to be a little while. You guys are going to have to just learn this. But when you get ready to jump, your arms have to come back. And when you jump up, your arms go like this, not like this. Okay? That's going to take some time to learn. So your arms come back, and then you punch. Boom! Just like this. And, and when you punch your arms like this, you squeeze your butts. And you just make yourself, like, straight. So like you're in the air and you just look like a stick and then you land like a cat and you just squat into the same technique. It's, it, you're not going to get it in one class. It's going to take a while. All right. If you're squatting and not jumping, you put your arms out for balance. Here we go. 10 seconds. You guys are doing great. Ready, let's go. Nice, 
Aprenia. Is it Aprenia? Yes. Good. Good technique. I like that. I like your arms. Your arms are perfect. Ooh. Kimberly, you're just eating this up. Yeah. Five, four, three, two, one. Are you holding a weight, Jennifer? Are you holding a weight? Was that a weight? Well, I wanted to finish one. Okay, okay. I was in the middle. Okay, okay. okay. Uh, all right. You know what? Um, weights are an advanced part. You know what I mean? But if you guys want to bring some little hand weights, when we do the squats, you can hold little hand weights. Um, but eventually, when we start, like, doing the jumping part, you're not going to need weights. <laughs> but uh, that was good. You guys, you know what? You guys are all doing a great job so far. You're doing, most of you are doing the advanced versions. Lateral shuffles. You know, I keep saying, get lower. And I'll keep saying that. On your shuffles, get lower. You squat like this. In this position here, like this. All right? With your back straight, not like this. See my back like this? Don't do this. All right? Back straight, hands up. This is a very athletic position in many sports, whether you're a, uh, a fielder in baseball, whether you're getting ready to set in volleyball, uh, whether you're a wrestler, uh, a basketball player. Here we go. Five, four, three, two, one, go. Lateral shuffles. <laughs> Jennifer, you're moving fast. Kimberly, I think she's got you. Come on, come on, Kimberly. Five, four, three, two, one. <laughs> Almost finished, ladies. Three more exercises. One of our main missions during this beginning phase is learning how to put in those quality 30 second rounds. And then what you do is you work on resting. Like when you rest for your 90, I don't care how you rest. Resting actually is a variable. You can either walk around and rest. You can sit and rest. You can even do like Active resting like Yana. Do you see Yana? In my screen, she's second from the top. She's actually doing sit-ups. <laughs> but, but there's a cost. <laughs> but there's a cost to that, right? There's a cost to that. It, it eats into your resting period. And if it eats into your resting period, it might take away from your ability to put in a quality 30-second round. I mean, I, I can't emphasize that enough how much I need quality and energy in that 30 second round, as long as it's safe. All right, we've got, what do we got? High knee running and marching. Yeah, this is another one of those, you get out what you put in. If you run fast, it's gonna be tiring. Even marching fast is tiring. Three, two, one. All right, let's go. Yeah, the FPSs aren't enough to see how fast you're going, Yana. Good job. Those knees are nice and high. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Time! You guys doing all right? Yeah. We use hand signals in this class too. So, so like this means usually yes, good, I did it. This is like I, I tried, not really, but almost. And this is like, no, Gary, I couldn't. I, it was too hard. 
And this means, what does this mean? You guys remember what this means? Yes. Mess it up. This is I'm messing up. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I haven't seen anybody do this yet, so whoo! As long as that internet is working, and I have good internet here in my house, it's just phew, technology. There's been classes where I have to do it like this. I have to hold this up like this. <laughs> a, a, you know, you'll see. We'll, we'll we'll probably have one like that, a technical difficulty class, where I have to, you know, do this stuff to you. All right, star jumps or jumping jacks? Here we go. Almost, ladies. 10, 9, 8, 7. Get ready. Right, let's go. Awesome. Those are really awesome jumping jacks, Yvette. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Good job. One more. One more. I'm glad to hear you guys breathing. Hey, this is an impossible. This is doable. Isn't this doable? Yeah. Yeah. And the program, it'll change slowly where I put a little bit more as time goes on to the workout. Just a little bit. But that's what allows you to grow. Sometimes in the uh, fitness industry, we call it periodization. It's a map. It's a plan. This is the beginning. Actually, the workout that uh, we did on Monday was a little easier than today. Just a little teeny easier. Just because we did two less, re two less reps. So when you come back Friday, we're probably going to do maybe one or two more reps than today. But the same time, the same 30-90. Three workouts. You guys got to do three workouts, and then we'll. I want to hear how that goes. All right. Burpees or one of the exercises: running, jumping jacks, squats. All right, here we go. Three, two, one, go. <laughs> Wow. Absolutely amazing. I, I didn't expect the whole group to just do burpees today. If you guys can do burpees, you can do anything. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Time. Good job, ladies. Hey, so look. I got just a couple things to say to you real quick before we, we uh, end. Uh, first, congratulations. And, um, you know, the first workout is always the hardest. And it's not because it's the hardest physically. It's just harder showing up. I mean, I've been doing this a long time. I've had a, a gym since 1995. And um, the first class... If you can do the first class, you can do the next 100, all right? So that, that, that's something to be very proud of yourselves for. Um, also, um, consistency is real important in this. So you, 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 the program is written for three days a week. You, you, you want to make those three classes. If you miss one, you really can't make it up because if you try to make it up, you'll be too tired to do it twice, two days in a row. You, you'll be too tired for the next session. So, you, so if you're going to make it up, you do so with casual exercise, not high-intense ex 
intense ex uh, exercise, walking, brisk jogging, just, you know, a little bit of, you know, movement. Um, and also, if I haven't had my fitness consultation with you guys yet, connect with me because I want to talk to you guys about where you are and what your goals are and give you an idea too of like the program and where it's going. So uh, thanks for training today, ladies. Next workout, Friday, seven o'clock. All right. I hope to see you then. Thank you. All right. Thank you. All right. Bye, guys. All right. Bye-bye. <laughs>